Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about LTX fast video generation model. So what is this? Why this model become super famous now? So let's talk about this one and I'm going to show you a quick demo and also I will talk about pros and cons. So before trying, if you don't have a high-end GPU and if you don't have a high-end systems, so you can try it here, space. So I'm going to give a anyway links in the description you can try here come here and uh, there is a two options image to video and text to video but i am mostly i'm leaning towards the image to video but that's how the people looking because everybody want to customize their own kind of a videos it's more flexible on the image to video unless if you are doing something any footage come here and upload an image and uh, start writing the prompt and generate an, uh, a video you can get it so this is about the hugging face uh, demonstration you can try it here so now I'm getting inside quick one. So what I did here, now you can see this is my checkpoint. So why this model is very famous? It running, generally if you run any model, Vans, frame pack, many models available in open source. If you run any model, it is going to take minimum, I would say 20 to 30 minutes to generate four frames of, sorry, four seconds of the video. It's purely depend on your kind of a GPU, what kind of, uh, system you have but this one is a digital version basically this architecture everything runs super quick under i would say one minute so let me show you what i did here i wrote a comment uh, i wrote a, a basic prompt here so what generally i do you write a prompt here and go here and put it something so i put it this one like this chart basically hey act like a cinematic prompt writer where my model will understand this is my model architecture you just give a brief info or information about chart gpt so that chart gpt understand what kind of context you are asking rather you just like a hey, rewrite the prompt instead of that go and tell about like hey go to model space so what i'm telling so this is the model right so let's come here so you can tap it here this is the models once you come here and maybe you can give a link that is good enough otherwise you can go to github so you can come here this is the code source code so you can give it or sometimes what i do generally i give a reads read me so that here entire thing will be there about the project structure architecture what kind of flow happening how the diffusions work how the noise works everything written here based on that once you feed here in the chat gpt will understand better way according to that it will you know arrange overall prompt so yeah that's about this one i copy paste here then this is general one you this is nothing change here so this is going to be my input image so simple image and i given this one and you can see here this is my output look here one good thing here you can extend so right now this is the 97 seconds so you can go somewhere around 121 so, so by the way why 97 odd number next frame it will take it as a reference for example if you want to extend this video further so there is another option you can see here it will take another 120 frames what it does it will take first end frame of this video from there it will consider that, that is the first frame from there again the forward progressive method so from there images will generate i mean images in the sense frames will generate let's see here this is the overall scene look at this. this looks pretty good i know you can see some sort of noise but yes amount of speed it's running it's really good later maybe what you can do you can add it like there is called detailers you can add detailers upscale you can reasonably it will come very good but i love the how the simulation happening how the water everything cinematic you can, even you can see this the wind physics everything pretty good so look here once again this is how it works let me run you through one more scene simple way maybe what i can do here i'll take this one another ship so i'll keep it as it is i'm not going to change any prom let it be because more or the less everything is same concept let's see how it looks because even i don't know i haven't experimented yet i want to show you here is how fast it can run and one see you can see it started working right one adjust heads up here when you're running first time it gonna take around 10 minutes to load a model so why it takes because 10 minutes because you need to load these two models it's basically main safe tensors and these files clip model once it does you can see here now we were on the 
extension so basically what you can do multiple runs of shots if you want to further one more i mean technique this is generally i'll do with the outside of this open source let me show what you can do if you do further so basically if you go and extend and first itself you can go and run 200 frames also but it won't predict so basically what technical what will happen whenever this, consider this is the frame and this frame whatever information it has it is going to predict the next frame how it gonna look then it will read these both frames instead of looking back side it will predict front side how it gonna look based on your previous image that's how the prediction happening so but if you give longer frames after some time it will lose the context right now we don't have that architecture so what i would suggest try to generate first five seconds then take a last second a screenshot if you want you can input again here and again you can generate i would now technically you can generate 10 seconds at one shot then take it if you want another one if you want to continuity shot if you want to do something more cinematic if, whatever if you are explaining some youtube shots videos anything it's purely up to you so wait a sec it is struggling now but i really like this how the simulation overall the ship is moving that is too exaggerated one good thing is whenever the flow is running once decode frames happening because you are keeping somewhere around 120 frames sorry 120 frames it's happening so what will happen your gpu is consuming here once it goes to here this is the node clean vram used so what happened once it node basically this node is purely composition whatever it has been generated so far those frames it will come and combine but once you run through this your full vram will be available for this so that way it is very good in terms of the technical aspect so before showing this let's talk about something it's gonna take some time here so now you can come here so this is the model right so come here you can go here this is the light trick ltx means basically light trick so there is this one is going to be our main model card you can see you can go and read about entire model card how does it works and characters dancing characters you can see many good videos you can find all the models here but one catch here so why all of a sudden i am making this video it's been there since six months right you can see that it's updated six months back it is why it is special now because of speed previously it was taking so long now you can see this full video uh, look here look at the scene see this is the opposition the uh, ship everything happening now let me make it a zoom a bit look at this now the fire everything is coming pretty good and i haven't added a detail model i mean detailers i haven't run then i haven't done the upscaler as well if you've done the two it takes some time because every frame need to be processed but it definitely gonna take a lot of time when you are upscaling when you are cleaning right now you can see the very muffling very noisy kind of stuff that is going to be cleaner uh, yeah that's about this one let's come back and discuss about technicality yeah as i said you can find many files here why i am talking now here is because distill version so let's show distill version this is the you can come anything you can take it um, this fp8 which which is very optimized version you can see this one this is updated 11 days ago so any you can take any loras any distillation right now i am running this one which is full version not optimized version or you can run with this also which is much faster by the way so it's up to you what it does it will load very faster and it will run very faster so that's the reason using this version so then you can see here all spatial upscaler temporal upscaler everything you can run basically just now i explained you can run with these models so now go here go to github sorry this is the github okay you can read about everything here how the model works architecture what is the frames how you need to utilize this one everything you go here then if you go this is the comfy workflow once you come here this is the, where we are working on this one so two weeks back it has been updated now if you go here example workflows you will get all these workflows so download one of them right now i'm using this one image to video extension json file this is what i'm using you can use any of them so uh, let's say now you can take image to base or any other thing three frames so basically you can give two images and you can do it so that's about this one you can go here and tricks you can go this is the image see how it works you give one image another image so basically it will act like 
combined together something sort of that so that's about this and i given switch here you can turn off this one so basically if you don't want to extend you just want to play around this place let's try one more mm, what i'll do now maybe let's put it one important thing if you want to upload let's say look here this is the important thing so that's about this one okay now i'm going to tell you some notes so for example if you want to upload here some character which is not in this aspect result might be not that great so try to adjust according to this let's say now i'm going to put some sort of a character let's take this guy because this ratio is going to fit to my style whatever i have existing one so i'm going to write a simple one warrior smiling and talking this is going to be simple prompt i'm going to run and you can see the speed this is going to be my live speed i'm not going to edit i'm not going to make it a 2x speed nothing sort it's pretty fast and there is going to be sometimes some errors will come you can see now it's a pretty good look at the results so that's about this one even characters anything even see look at the lighting okay let's show you what is the lighting you can see here this is the lighting here the actual character is slightly turning out and the lighting also matching and if you want to bring back this kind of details that is going to be slightly tricky because you need to run the detailers that is going to consume lot of time that is for sure but first test it out so once you got this video for example you got this video you can play around separate workflow you can go ahead and run this video you are asking like a scantic uh, load any flux models stxl models and uh, there is some loras which is skin detail loader loras where you can load that and it will come back that's about this one now what i can show you detailers so keyframes let's talk about the base this is image to video base maybe i can I'm going to run now but what i'm going to tell you now this is upscaler you can copy this one you can copy this one and paste it that let's i mean attach this all, everything here let's copy this part everything and you can copy so these details are what it does whatever you have so you can see here right if you have not constant vram one and two this is installation so when you want installation so go to here so make sure it should be comfy ui ltx video so same way let me close here once again what i did myself i created my own kind of a, a workflows so this is where i automatically whenever i tap this one automatically i'll go to the vnv if not you can do manually also so i'll explain again as i said you can go here git sorry let me say directory cd custom notes git clone and you can copy this one right now i have this one already anyway i can show you so for me it will show fatal destination error because i have already this one so let's go inside so once you need to do git clone it will copy everything from the github next cd comp you can type this one same thing here whatever you have comp ui lt you can type ltx so i am inside that my project and you have to go let me make it a full screen and what you need to do here you need to install this one so pip install or requirement for me it will show like a requirement satisfied because since i already install everything if you're not install see that something see this was missing so it's installing now some of them if something going a bit here and there it will install but yeah more or the less everything is there so when you installing first time for you this all files is going to take a time and second thing copy the model whatever link you wherever you go here right copy the appropriate link so be mindful some of the files are very high size you can see 28 gb distills also it is though it is trimmed down to 15 but still it is pretty big so be mindful on that space and go to comfy and again i am in the comfy here this is the models and you can put it here so these are all my files depend if you are a text encoder file clip files you can put clip sorry not clip text you can see the text encoder that will go clip text where is this text encoder you can put it here also the tx whatever right these files so that's about this then you can run about these things yeah this nothing you don't need to worry about this one that's how it then once requirement is good and go back and run the file then it will start loading 
so that's about this one guys so if you want really want to know full detail about installation process i think more or the less this one is the same but few basic fundamentals i not shown because everything you need to do from scratch right this is going to take a lot of time to install but it's a straight forward you copy paste it here that's it done your majority stuff is the git clone install the requirements that's it so that's about this one guys if you have any doubts any bug related issues anything please comment it in below i will i'm going to respond as soon as possible then if you like my explanation please like and subscribe see you next week